can power to the deadline. Lovey, can I get back to you on that? I, I want to go back to what Abby said about uh, reading a transcript saying based on pre previous. Just I mean, so you're the question that is the conversation... clear, before we go to that, just so the question is clear, the question is, what is the predicate by which there's an epistemic standard for determining that a creature has a mind versus not having a mind, such that if there is a human that behaves the way a cow behaves, what is in the epistemic predicate? What is the, epi what is the predicate by which you're determining that one has a mind and one does not have a mind? That, that's the question on the table that I just haven't ever, I haven't heard an answer. For, I haven't heard a clear, coherent answer from any of you guys. I would say, and I think I, and I think the rat has gotten at this as well. Um, are they able to engage in open-ended, you know, are they able to, let, let's, let's even put it more simply than, I've said it before, at least. Um, do they seem able to uh, learn things, communicate? To the same, to the same degree. Yeah. So they seem to do it to the same degree that a cow can do it because they're behaving the same way. They still, so they seem to do it the same way because again, this is just there's an equivalence on behavior. One is a human. One is not a human. The human's behaving like a cow behaves. So let me. Let me let me flip this around a little bit, because um, I came across an article where somebody was arguing, and I, I don't think this is your position, but maybe it'll clarify if you explain why not. Somebody somebody was arguing for the um, morality for the moral value of uh, video game characters, and I, so. No, or, or another example is like, you know, Roombas or something. So why, well, you know, which Roombas, by the way, they can like build up a, they can, they can build up a map of a house which is stored and reused for later productive purposes. So they're actually, that's, that's the high end model anyway. You got to spend more for that. But it's pretty impressive. All right. So they can, they can do some, you know, useful problem solving. So I'm wondering, because because we've been we've been talking oh, about the cow thing at some for a point. While. At, by the way, at some point, at some point, I mean, I, I want to get back to what I was talking about before. But at some point, I I don't I don't have this view that a video game character in principle can't be conscious. At some and I don't and I don't know at where I would draw that line. But at some point, okay, yeah, at some point, I would place more consideration on a video game character if if they behave the same way that a human would behave, I would say, okay, well, maybe this thing really is conscious at some point. So, some point, so one would. thing is that yeah, sure. you can, like, for narrow purposes, like, you can, if you, I'm sure you probably played The Sims. Sure. Okay. So you can, like, torture a sim, like, yeah. lock it in a room yeah. with no exits, and it starts peeing on itself and crying out in distress yeah. and, yeah. you know, banging on the walls or whatever. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's not, it's, it's kind of disturbing. Um, yeah. it's, you know, it's squealing, it's yelling, it's, it's making human, um, sounding, uh, distress calls in a human shape, mm -hmm. um, superficially. Yeah, it's 2D or, or I guess it's 3D now. It's been a while since I played it. Yeah. But, um, yeah. but I don't think, I don't think you would reason from that to, I'm, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think you, you would say, well, then that's. That do you know why? Well, no, you know no, why. Hold on. wait, 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 wait. Do you wait, know why? Just let me just let me go with. It. Hold on, listen, listen. Just let, just let me go with this guy. Um, yeah. So I I would not, but certainly you would at some point if there was a sim that could have the conversations I'm having with you right now. Well, that would be an AGI. There was a sim. What is oh. he, what is AGI? Just an artificial general intelligence. Just, uh, would you, uh, if there was a sim that can have this conversation with you and, and could demonstrate, could also like appear to have all these feelings and emotions and thoughts, if you yeah. came across that sim, would you, would you conclude that that sim may have another, may actually have a mind, may actually be conscious? Yeah. yeah. I either, yeah. I mean, the two explanations would be either that sim has a mind or somebody's screwing with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? like, okay. Right. Yeah, right. The mechanical so at some point, sort of thing where right. So at, at some point, at some point, based on either behavior or based on a, the coherent, some, some views can take the coherence of behavior based on like a similar, uh, similar 
brain structure or whatnot, whatever it is, at some point you would think the sim character is conscious. At some point you would not. At some there's some threshold right, where but, you would. But, but just to be clear, um I'm I was I was talking about like the current level sims which, you know, aren't even like they're sub chat bot, right. you know, they're not, they're yeah, not very, yeah, yeah. I think, I think the, I think, but yeah, agree, you could have an AGI reason. in the Sims. Sure. Theoretically, um, it'd be a little weird, but yeah. Right. So yeah. what I'm saying is that on what it seems like to me is that the, the reasons we have for whatever reasons we have for believing the Sims are conscious are l lower on the threshold than believing a cow is conscious. I actually think we are, there's more reasons to believe a cow is conscious than the Sims conscious. So whatever threshold you are, I would just apply it consistently. But again, this doesn't get to the heart of the question that so I was asking before. So could you, before. could you, yeah. wait, but before I, could, could you explain mm -hmm. yeah. where, why are you setting yeah. the thresholds differently exactly? Yeah, sure, sure. So, um, so a couple of things. So there's more, um, there's more spontaneity with the cow. So the cow can do, th can do things that the Sim cannot, the cow can, act spontaneously well first of all the coding is more complex for sure not to say that it entails sentience but the cow is capable okay. of far more behaviors than the sim is, cap is capable of the sim has a has a very limited amount of behaviors that are coded the cow is capable of far more behaviors the other thing the other symmetry breaker is that the if we're reasoning from our minds that we're that we are that the, the consciousness comes from the mind and we are conscious, then there's also, and that comes from the brain, then there's also a coherence between that and the neuroanatomic similarity between humans and cows in the sense that we're both gyrencephalic mammals. We both have, we both have gyre sulci, we both have very sim, we both have the cerebral cortex and we both, and both of the, the behaviors that we exhibit, that we attribute to conscious experience cohere with the neural activity that occurs in a cow when they experience these things. So, and there's no evidence that that happens in Sims. Yeah, so, so more, more functions, more complicated coding, all that. And, 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 and coherence, why, which and coherence was... wait, that's not all, and coherence oh. between structure and function. Right, right. Coherence between yeah. behavior and between the way we behave and what's going on in our brain with the way the cow behaves and what's going on in their brain. Now, now when you say in, coherence, are you talking about like brain scan studies where they show a part of the brain lighting up sure. and you're saying that the, okay. Or, 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 um, or, 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 you, I don't or think that really which, tells us yeah, much of anything. Well, well, or not, not just that, or, or studies in which the part of the brain is removed and the function is lost or a part of the brain is stroked and the function is lost. It's not just a brain scan. I you don't have to, it's not just talking about fMRIs. There's a right. clear delineation of what happens when you destroy part of a brain in a human, and you, you can do the same thing in a cow. And the same things happen Re predictably, repeatedly. So for example, if you were to, if you were to lesion, um, if you were to lesion the, in most people, the left temporal lobe, the human would lose the ability to have language. And if you were to do the same thing in the cow, the cow, the way they communicate with each other, so they're, they're, what they're moving or whatever, whatever language modality they use, they would lose that ability as well. And there's, there, there's many other examples of this, these similarities. It's not just brain scans. It's, it's things that are very de definitive. And there's I nothing like that. that do you know, sense. Justin, do you know the, the argument why, like, adding more and more function and more complexity to, like, the programming doesn't lead to an AGI? Like, do you know why, why Elliot just makes that argument? Clear, just to uh, be clear, that's not, that's not my position. My position isn't that more complexity means more likely to be, be sentient, necessarily. My position is just that we are reasoning from a starting point. Our starting point is that we are conscious. And if we are conscious, then we need some, there's certain creatures, there's a whole litany of creatures that have a certain degree of similarity to us, both in structure, behavior, both in structure and function, both in terms of the behavior of their brain. We're all, we're all agreeing for the sake, for the argument here that our consciousness comes from our minds and our minds come from our brain. And there's a certain degree of similarity between our brains and other creatures. There's also a certain degree right. of similarity. I, yeah, go ahead. 
I understand. I think you're you understanding. I think a you're pretty understanding. narrow yeah. point about why a cow having, you know, the sort of consciousness that implies moral worth is more plausible to you than a sim. Than right. That that was so that was like a sub sub point that yeah. you were going in detail on. Right. All right. I just just trying to put it because you know the 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 discussion can get a little. Sure, sure, yeah. A little fragmented, so yeah. it's it's good. So to, there's more to... of a there's more of a reason for the cow to for me to to believe that the cow has a mind than the sim has a mind. Right. Now the question on the table before we got into this tangent is, if we were met with a a human who has the capability of behavior to the degree that the cow has the capability of behavior. Why would we ever conclude that the human has a mind, but the cow does not have a mind? So I think part of the thing is that your perspective is very, um, and when we were talking earlier about the the hall of the presidents and stuff, it seemed like he wanted to uh, put everything in terms of behavior. Um, I'm just, it's, and, the, it's a question. Listen, is the question on the table is in this hypothetical, right. look, here's the question that I just want to hear an answer. I don't want to hear like a, what I'm doing, what I'm this question. Well, no, table. cause I think it's, yeah. it's, it's contextualizing like, um, my reply is that part of, part of the context, um, in which I judge a human when I'm looking, when I'm observing their behavior is the general characteristics of human capability. Yeah, but this is irrelevant which because they're, we're dealing which is which is not a behavioral issue. Okay. Said, that's that's I'm just I'm just yeah. explaining the perspective gap here. I'm not even trying to argue with you right now. I'm just mm. I'm just sort of laying out like you know what what maybe the disagreement is. Um, okay, great. So the question so then the question is let's say we have a human so mm -hmm. the question is, we say we have a human who has behavioral capabilities matching a Sure. By what standard would we conclude that the human has a mind and the cow does not have a mind? So I guess um, behavioral capabilities matching a cow, it's, 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 it's tough for me to reply because I, I reject the premise so much that I think I interpret the behaviors differently than you would. Like, you know, looking That's at a just dodging example. The hypothetical. Yeah. So you're dodging that. Well, so let's say they really were the same. I mean, here's the thing, though. Like, we know, we know that humans do something which humans have some capacity which animals do not. I think you would grant that. Not, I'm not for this human. I wouldn't. In general. Like you or me or yeah, the other person. Hold on, wait, wait. I'm, I just, my Uber's dropping me off. Hold on one second. Okay, <laughs> sure. Sorry, I had to. Okay, I got my headphones in. Yeah, so. I don't understand why the general characteristics of humans are, are actually relevant here. Um, so, like, I, think I about it this yeah, way. Um, in, in, like both in both humans and computers can play chess in some sense. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, but the way they do it is very different. And we, like, and we, a, a human we doesn't about brute force. Last oh. time we talked about this, you, you were talking about oh. the difference between it being yeah. physically so possible again, so and here's, logically so possible. Here's, okay, look, look, just, just, I, I just, I just, look, look, look. Here's the question. So the question is, when you have a human and you have a cow and the behavior, you can't differentiate their behaviors. What mm -hmm. is the reason for which you conclude one has a mind and one does not have a mind? I mean... I guess if we if we assume well like in theory you could have a human who is not intelligent um I think I 
like I, I guess part of it is you know I, I have I have difficulty imagining the plausibly like animal level, but like there there are humans that they're just um, you know brain dead or whatever. So like species so, so species question, is not yeah, determinative. So, so, so yeah, so so the question is, would you just conclude that the human that behaves like a cow is brain dead? Well, would, or no, something we approximating it maybe. I would mean, you? Would you? Would, so, a, so a human that can walk around that would 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 yell out in in pain if they're inflicted pain on it. That would seem to seem to care about their offspring. Seem to care do all all the things. Would cry if their offspring is taken away from them. They would exhibit all these behaviors, but you would just conclude that human is brain dead if they couldn't exhibit other behaviors. Other behaviors. If they. Oh, I I lost you, Avi. If they can, ex really? if they can, ex oh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, you're back. You're back. Can can you? If they can exhibit all the behaviors of that of a cow, they can experience. Right hold on. Let me go and let me hold on. If they can, you hear me now? I can hear you now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If they can exhibit all of the behaviors. Yeah. Well, if they can experience all the behaviors of that of. Uh, cow, if they can exhibit all the behaviors, if they can exhibit, if you would take away their offspring and then they would start crying out, if you, they, if you would inflict pain on them, they would start screaming in pain, just the way a cow does. If you played music, they would come and listen to the music, just like cows do, by the way, when you play music. They enjoy listening to, they, see, they exhibit behaviors that seem compatible with them enjoying listening to music. So if they were to do, and, and my list just goes on, if they were to do all of that, but they couldn't do more than that than the cow could do. You would you conclude that that human is brain dead? Yes or no? No. Okay. So what? So what is the reason by which you would conclude one has a mind and one does not have a mind? My well, I would say that of, humans so, in general yeah, right. have minds. So we're on the what on the what precautionary the, principle here. What is okay? Then what's the differentiator by which you apply the precautionary principle to one and not the other? If they both exhibit the same behavior, why would you apply the precautionary principle to one and not the other? I don't know that I frame it as precautionary principle per se, but well, um, that's what Rat said, so I'm just replying. No, to that's Rat, fine. Right? That's fine. I mean, I just don't understand why this is so hard to answer. Happened. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to eat my tofu. I'll tell you what. Okay. You guys can think about an answer, and um, maybe in an hour or two hours or so, if you, if you have one, you can ping me or something if I haven't fallen asleep by then. But it's good talking to you guys, and I hope you enjoy the server. I'm going to keep working on Crestor, uh, I mean, Crestor Wilkes debate. Take care, buddy, my dudes. Cool. Yep.